it's a first for the farm show, a mullet competition. It is also the first ever visit for our Evan Papalis, who got some inspiration for a new haircut. Uh-oh, Evan joins <laughs> us now. Evan, let's see you. <laughs> Alicia, well, you can definitely tell that. I don't have the long enough locks right now to make that happen, but take our chief meteorologist, Eric Finkenbeiter. No, he doesn't have a mullet either, but he's number one in weather forecasting, and turns out being number one runs in his family. I felt like I was home. It's not easy rocking a mullet. The PA Farm Show hosted its first mullet competition on Monday with over 100 entries. Pete Brubaker was crowned champion in the 18 and up category. I tell you what, I've been uh, ro ro running this mullet circa 85, so it's been a long time and it's paying off now, so yeah, it's cool. Brubaker only waits three weeks in between cuts to keep his mullet fresh. There was a category for kids 18 and younger and for people who submitted photos of their previous mullets. The son of our chief meteorologist, Eric Finkenbinder, Neil, was crowned champion for the children's group. The whole outfit, the aesthetic, the sunglasses, he definitely had the look going. That look went a long way in helping Neil be named the winner, but he wasn't the only youngster with style. Nick Dippery had his son, Sawyer, show off his hair. Just wanted to hold him up and show everybody the front and the back. Business in the front, party in the back, baby. <laughs> and unlike Brew Baker, who has been taming his mullet since the mid-80s, Sawyer has been rocking his mullet since he came into the world, even though it was only a short time ago. He just turned one about two weeks ago, December 21st, so he came out of the he came out of the room with a mullet. And not everyone can make the hairstyle work, but it's a simple formula for Brew Baker. I just kind of use uh, shampoo and a little bit of conditioner and I took a shower last night. And like I wet it, like just wet it just the amount so the curls would dry up just right. So like I got a little process. Judges had the hardest task of the day, deciding winners. There were more entries than expected and everyone had some good flow. I think that was probably the only downside to this was having to single out certain ones and stuff like that because they were all amazing. And Brubaker actually won a basket of products to help him take that next step for his mullet game. At the Farm Show Complex, Evan Papalis, ABC 27 News. <laughs> oh, thank you, Evan. And we've seen pictures of Neil Finkenbinder with his mullet. And, and it was so cute, I knew he had it, but Fink didn't tell us he was going to enter him in the competition. Yeah, he is so cute. But I feel like and it's the, the 80s again. We're back is. in high school. And those sunglasses when he was in those sunglasses. <laughs> He's a cool kid. Oh, He's mullets. Cool kid. I have mixed emotions. <laughs>